What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to back up your photos with Google Photos. Check it out. So in this video I have the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus but the steps will be similar depending on the phone that you have. What we're going to want to do is first unlock the phone itself and then we're going to navigate to the Google Photos application. I'm going to go to my Google Folder, photo, Google folder and then I'm going to go to Photos right here. You can see the little pinwheel. We're going to click on that one. And this is going to list all of the pictures and videos that you have, whether they're on your SD card or whether they're on your actual internal storage as well. So either way, there's a few ways we can actually do this. You can go ahead and left click, or I should say left and hold, and it will select the one. And then you can go through and you can select individual ones. Or if you wanted to upload an entire day, you can come up to the little Monday, November 13th, and click on that. That's gonna highlight that entire day. Regardless of how you want to do it, if you just wanna do the few select photos, whenever you have whatever that you want backed up selected, you're gonna come up to either the little cloud up here. If there's a cloud with a little cross through it or a little uh, line through it, that typically means that your backup and sync is not enabled. Uh, Google is awesome when it comes to backing up photos. If you wanted to do a absolute high res, a, like original copy, it does go against your Google Drive space storage allowance. But if you wanted to do just a nice high quality version, but at a reduced file size, you actually have unlimited storage for that. So I actually have the sync and everything off just because it does drain the battery, especially when it's constantly checking. Um, you can turn it on and whenever you take a picture, it will automatically back that up. However you want to set that up, you'll need to go into the settings if this is your first time to make sure that you have a correct email set up that you want linked to it and uh, just go through the settings of how what kind of quality you want. Uh, once you've got all that set up, you're going to get to this screen. Like I said, go ahead and select the ones that you have or that you want to back up. And then I'm going to go up to the three little dots up at the top right hand corner. And then I'm going to left click right here on backup now. Now you notice this menu, you can actually delete them from the device. You can, like I said, back of them up now, or you can actually archive the photos if you wanted to archive them into like a separate folder or anything. So I'm gonna click back up now. I got a little message down here at the bottom that says uploading two items. And then if I pull out, pull down the little drop down menu, you can see right here where it says uploading three items using, and then it will tell you exactly what, um, what network you're actually using, whether you're using the actual 4G or your, your cell phone, provide a network or if you're actually using a Wi-Fi. I would highly recommend using Wi-Fi just because it does drain, uh, does take up a lot of bandwidth, especially if you're constantly uploading and downloading photos. So I would definitely make sure that you are connected to Wi-Fi. But like I said, there are other programs out there. Drop, or, uh, there's Dropbox that allows you to immediately take pictures and upload them to Dropbox. Google Photos, of course, comes with most, if not all, Android phones. And that it does, it's just an easy, uh, user-friendly interface. And that wraps up this week's tech tip. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Share the video. Also, if you have any kind of comment or feedback, leave that in the comment section below the video. Just a quick question of the day before you go. What type of backup software do you use to back up your photos? Leave your answer below and we will see you next time.